Yeah. Um, so I did want to call uh, about two things. Uh, the first one would be, even though the word Trinity isn't in the Bible, the message of that is in the Bible. Um, the message of the, the Trinity of is in the Bible? How do you explain that to me? For instance, in First John it says, there are three that bear record in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And I know that people have called before to give you that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Um, But they leave out the part where the Bible goes on to say in that same chapter that the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us and was recognized by John the Baptist. Uh, Jesus Christ is the Word. But where is Um, the Trinity in the Bible? The Word Trinity is not in the Bible. And so what, um, so what do, do you do believe is, in something called the Trinity? Uh, no, but I do believe that um, Jesus is God, um, that he does the will of the Father, he's the Word of God, but you, he is also the Son and God, and the Holy <laughs> Ghost is also God as, as well. You believe all that? Um, and there, yeah, because uh, are you a there Christian? are other verses. Oh, ab- absolutely. And I would define Christian as, and, um, and where that in the in Bible Christ. does Jesus say that he is God? There's actually quite a few places. Um, Give me one place the, where Jesus said, I am God. Well, he didn't say, I am God, but um, when you Thomas You just said there were him, quite a few places where Jesus said he is God. And I asked for one place where Jesus said, I am God. He did say, um, I and my Father are one in but, John uh, chapter right, 10. Right, but where did he say that he is God? I, he did not say that exact quote. And um, so why did you say guess, that there are many places in the Bible where he said he is God? Because I guess I took the question as where in the Bible can we see that Jesus is God instead of uh, the literal way that, you know, you're asking it. And do you believe so like, that if Jesus had been God, he would have said, I am God? Well, he did say, I and my Father are one, and when people called him God, he never denied it. Do you, fact, believe that Jesus, pro- oh, do you believe that Jesus would have said at some point, I am God? Uh, no, because if he would have outright said that, that would have given uh, the Jews at the time the right to stone him right away. Uh, How do you know that? Well, I guess I I don't. I'm assuming that. What? <laughs> I just uh... finished reading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What a mess. Uh, Why do you people make up stuff about Jesus, about God, and about the truth? Yeah, well, I wouldn't say made it up. Uh, like oh, the Bible you just says lied. You're to... <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's studying it and trying to get the, the message from it. Um, just like, you know, Paul said, you know, we're supposed to study the Bible to show ourselves approved and uh, rightly dividing the the word of truth so that we but, can be a workman not needing to be ashamed. And But he didn't uh, mean like make up. Thomas, it, he didn't mean make up lies, and also you shouldn't study the Bible anyway, because when you study the Bible, the devil would do what he's done to the Christian, make up lies, make Jesus be God. Why do you say that the Bible is the Word of God? Um, because it's, uh, what is it, what is, I don't know the verse off the top of my head, but it says, um, all Scripture is the inspired and preserved Word of God. Right. So um, why do you say the Bible is the Word of God? There are men who uh, uh, were disciples of God, and they wrote down messages and things that they understood, writing letters that they wrote to each other and to the church. But they never said that the Bible was inspired. They were inspired, not the Bible. The Bible is just a collection of, of letters that were written by men who understood God, knew God, and they were trying to encourage you to seek him so that you would know him as well. The Bible is a word from God, but the word of God is made flesh. It's in your heart. The no, Bible is limited to what God will guide you on a daily moment, a daily life or moment by moment by moment. The Bible doesn't guide yeah, you no, moment I, I by can, moment yeah. by moment. Yeah, I can I can see what you're saying. My biggest thing is that, you know, the Jesus is God thing. I do think that that is important. When Thomas approached Jesus in John 20, he, he came to Jesus and he said, my Lord and my God. Um, but that's, that's you know, one of a few examples where, you know, 
Jesus is called God or is presented as God and, and doesn't deny it. But Jesus so that, never said that, that he problem. but Jesus never said he was God. Well, and how do you know you're, that you're right. Jesus was calling I mean, how do you know that Thomas was calling Jesus God? It says, uh, and Thomas answered him and said unto him, My Lord and my God. So he's calling Jesus God at that point. And Jesus responds to him and says, um, you're, you're, you're seeing this because I'm here. You know, let me pull up the actual verse. But uh, how do along you, that line, so how, how do you respond when I believe what Peter said that you are the son of God and, and Jesus well, responded by saying, right on, no man told you that you see it for yourself. You're the kind of guy I'm going to build a rock on because you see who I am. You, uh, Peter didn't call him God, and, and and Jesus responded because he was the Son of God. When Jesus said that I and my Father are one, Jesus kind of smart. Do you think he would have said, I am God? He would have put himself <laughs> as being with someone else. He would have been well, who God. Is his father? What? Who is his father? So what? Who is his father? Who is whose who's father? Jesus' father, when he said, I and my father are one. You don't know who his father is? Well, I do. It's God. So, so that is him saying he's God. And, and that's <laughs> that how I would make sense, that. man. What the? I wanted to say that I, I believe that the Bible does say, the, the scriptures say that um, Christ Jesus was God because in John 1 1, of course, the famous opening. Uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Because uh, if you look at the Word God, and I don't want to try to get intellectual, I, don't, I think this is actually simple. You don't have to be an intellect to know this. Uh, that the word God in Hebrew is a plural; it's Elohim, and uh, it's more like a collective noun, like the word family. In this case, the family would include the Father and the Son. And there's the Holy Spirit, which some scriptures, like in Proverbs, referred to as wisdom, a feminine aspect of God. And uh, I think that that there's a lot of confusion based on the, the word God, because we don't consider it as a, like a plural. When Jesus said, don't be carried on, and I'm paraphrasing, don't be carried on over me, because it's not me, it's my Father that's in me that's doing the work. And greater work shall you do, saying that uh -huh. we should do greater works. Uh, if he right. were God, why would he not say, well, you know what? Y'all ain't going to never be able to do what I do because I'm God. So I <laughs> love the fact you recognize and praise me because it is me. But he wanted the people to know it wasn't him, but it was the Father that's in him. And then we should do yeah. greater works as well because of the Father. Yeah, the spirit that we receive. But why Christ. didn't he just say, well, y'all going to do greater work because of me? Well, he's identifying himself with the Father in heaven. It's but why the would the Father identify himself with the Father if he is the Father? Well, because it's the Spirit. It's the, it, there's different roles that they play, so they're going to use different terms so we can understand what's happening. Because there's other verses where they, um, some of the, the Pharisees will say, look, your, your, your mother and your siblings are here. And then he points to his believers and says, these are my mother, those who do the the works of my father amazing and do his will and so you're so, convinced that jesus is god is elohim yes yeah. and through him you actually extend uh, are introduced into that family when you're born of the spirit like christ was born in the spirit through a virgin do you well, believe that I, you're I believe. jesus brother y yeah and he, he calls you brethren so that's what i'm saying there's different roles so in one in one aspect, as you're so, if the God is your, if Jesus was God, you believe your daddy is your brother. <laughs> well, that goes back to, in some <laughs> sense, yes, because there's different <laughs> roles. But you, that's the complexity of God. But it's but God is simple. not complicated at all. He's quite simple. I know. What's up, Jesse? How you doing? All is well, Tyrese. How are you? Thanks for calling. I'm doing well as well. Uh, I just wanted to respond to the caller earlier um, about. Jesus being God. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So in John twenty seventeen, when Jesus resurrected and he saw Mary in the garden, 
Uh, he says that, he says, stop clinging to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go back and tell my brothers that um, I'm returning to my Father and your Father, to your God and my God. And so if he was God, he's <laughs> right there, he just said that he's not God. He's not a dummy. He's not stupid. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing to me that anyone, and I understand people, they hear things and they grab and just believe it because they put people on a pedestal, right? And right. a lot of the Christians who believe that Jesus is God got that from their preacher or someone else that they had on a pedestal, so they just believe it, even though it's not working in their lives, even though there's nowhere where God, Jesus said that he was God. They just make up things in their imagination. In the uh, I, intellect, yeah, that guy was just making up that he was just assuming what would have happened if Jesus did say he was God. But clearly, right then and there, he said that he wasn't God; that he has a God. So that doesn't make sense to assume things that are not true when it's clear that he's not God. So, from just to repeat that, this is from John twenty seventeen. Jesus said to her, "Do not cling to me." For I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. It can't get any clearer I'll, than that. I'll rest my case. I'll rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war, and it's a spiritual battle for the soul of America, and it's going to take all of us to do it. 